This caliber of man will continue to defend Puffy. Abusers, the scammers, the liars. They all align on the exact same frequency. They truly believe that they are victims. Like I just said, the narcissistic prayer. Either it's not my fault. If it is my fault, it ain't that bad. If it is that bad, you deserve it. Come on, man. But just imagine this, though. This is the last time most likely that he'll ever see freedom. His life is over. His life is over. <laughs> That's crazy, man. And did he just look evil? Get, get that long black trench coat. Oh man, yeah, you caught, homie. Y'all want to know one of the worst things is? I don't even think he's he feels guilty. I mean, he doesn't feel guilty. He's probably more ashamed that his his name, his reputation, is being hurt. Like his entire legacy, everything he's worked for, that's gone now. And that's probably what he's more concerned about. He don't even give a damn about the victims. Just remember the Cassie video when he was trying to apologize. Maybe for legal reasons he didn't mention her name. But at the same time, you could just look in his eyes, the way he was just speaking about the entire situation. He didn't give a damn. Even the people around him, even his actions afterwards. He called uh, one of the Danny Decay members 54 times. The feds were watching him. They have his chat logs. His sons, they're still saying stupid shit outside and tweeting online and are on social media saying things about the victims. It's like, bro, they, they're way too arrogant, man. They have to go. Their entire family has to suffer from this, man. Because his kids been dealing with that shit, too. And y'all see his kids at the courthouse going crazy. They still showing up for him. How you doing guys, you all right? Oh yeah, and, and that's the reason, and his kids are one of the reasons why he cannot leave. Because even if Diddy did get denied bail, right, his kids, like, they are still outside doing things that could tamper with the actual court case, like intimidating witnesses. Like, Diddy, he still active he still has power influence like come on, is this it? here we go oh absolutely christian yeah he and he's the worst one man and he looks just like diddy he looks just like him and it's so bad their arrogance it's almost like they have no remorse they don't care and if y'all know about the narcissist prayer it ain't my fault if it is my fault it ain't that bad if it is that bad you deserved it they genuinely don't care these people have to die. And y'all know how I speak about the Pareto Principle all the time. The 80-20 rule. 20% of the population is committing 80% of the crimes. So man, hell no. These are the reasons why we have the issues that we have in our country when it regards to civil rights and just equality. Because a small percentage of the population is willing to sell all of us out. Like the Willie Lynch. It only takes a small percentage and they'll... Keep all of us in check, man. Watch this. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little, if anything, to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex. Well, and I'm seeing this narrative from a lot of this caliber of men. This caliber of man. I saw Faison Love say something similar. It's always the scamming. Like the like the youth pastor, preacher type of guy. Like with the Dr. Umar. 
hell, Puffy. Like, they play these characters, the people that want to be icons and legends within our community. They are still going down with the – like, they ain't going down without a fight. They will continue to fight for this standard. Hey, appreciate you. Hey, appreciate you, Channel. Welcome to the Indigo, man. But this caliber of man will continue to defend Puffy. The abusers, the scammers, the liars. They all align on the exact same frequency. They truly believe that they are victims. They're perpetual victims. Like I just said, the narcissistic prayer. Either it's not my fault. If it is my fault, it ain't that bad. If it is that bad, you deserved it. Come on, man. What we call prostitution. Not Casey, not the freak-offs, not underage girls, but prostitution. Why am I bringing this up? Because I don't support prostitution either. I do not support men paying for the sugar box. I do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills. Dr. Umar clearly has not read the court documents. We was on stream a few days ago when the court documents came out when he just first got arrested. We went through all 14 pages. This man is accused of everything. This man had the all-you-can-eat buffet. This man is like Thanos. He had all the infinity stones of crimes. At this point, it's almost like, what did he not do? Racketeering, trafficking, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, weapons, intimidation, bribery. And it's going to cross international lines. Like, what is this dude talking about, man? I see you, Lady Legs, in the chat. With that being said, prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business. I hate when he does this shit like we're stupid. I hate when Dr. Umar sits back and repeats things like we're fucking stupid. Like, he's so smarter than everybody. I can't stand men like him. Like, he keeps doing this generic pastor speech patterns. That's the reason why we're not in the church right now. We know y'all are lying, bro. We don't... Bro. Let's just move this BS to the internet. It's, it's patronizing, man. Like we kids. On the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak-offs, not stomping out Cassie, not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. Alongside drugging them, putting roofies in their drinks, then having sex with them so much that they become dehydrated to the point they need IVs. Hell nah, Omar. Hell nah, Omar. You're extremely intelligent. You need a works cited page, man. MLA format, APA format, something, because you have not read a book. You have not read that uh, court case, bro. You sound really ignorant right now. So imagine you're a woman under Dr. Umar's leadership or fellowship, whatever you want to call, and you're listening to him speak. I would say you're weird in the first place. Why the hell are you listening to Dr. Umar? But if you actually had a conscience, as soon as you read or listen to this type of video, you should have some type of spidey sense that says, hey, this man is weird. This man is weird. He's already a sexual deviant. Y'all see how he does with the... Man, uh, let's keep it going, man. That is the charge. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up. Peace, God. Because when I listen to the news, 
They're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence of Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. Why does this motherfucker think he's important? Why does this motherfucker think that we got to wake up and tell Dr. Umar? He has to be the first person to know, motherfucker, you are not a part of the court case. You're not invited to the party, homie. He sounds like DJ Academics right now. Like, this is what happens when you think that you're smarter than everybody. Homie, you're not a part of the court case. You're nowhere near the actual courtroom. Why would you know the specifics of what's going on in the court case, bro? Why would you know that? You random stranger. He truly believes he's important, bro. He think he's special. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm see, he, see this? <laughs> he truly thinks he's better than everybody. He truly thinks that everybody else is dumb except for him. Now, everybody else is just stupid. Like, we can't read the 14 page court case. Man, not only, not to mention what we already know about him trying to blow up Kid Cuddy's car, him trying to send hits and counting, uh, trying to get Drake shot and all these type of things. It's like, bro, what's going on, man? Pipe down. Have the intelligence and the wisdom to pipe down when you know for a fact you have not read any information. The information is easily available, Dr. Umar. If he's educated as he claims he is, he knows what MLA format is. He knows what APA format is. You know what a works cited page is. You have way too much power, way too much influence to go online spreading this narrative with no information. This topic is way too powerful, bro. You're too grown, you're too old, you know that. If you're as smart as you claim you are, I can hold you to these standards and say you're looking really fucking stupid right now. If he's a doctor the way he claims he is, I can hold him to these standards. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes, and I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking? He think he's trying to win the WWE championship, man. He out here cutting promos like he the rock. Bro. And he keeps, it's annoying, especially when you understand what's actually going on. The way he tries to speak to actual high IQ intelligence, college educated men. It's like, bro, I, I can't listen to him. It's almost like that scene in The Boys. Remember when, um, in the new season with Homelander? Was trying to give that speech to those billionaires. Trying to go about this this woke mob. And the, the billionaires are like, hey, bro. That works on them. That works on the mass public. Hey, if you want to have an actual conversation, speak like we're equals. Stop talking to us like we're stupid. Y'all remember that scene? If y'all a fan of the boys on, uh, I think, Amazon Prime, it's, the, it's in the brand new season. But it's the same. It's like, bro, he thinks we're stupid. I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. And if he's a, if he's a psychologist the way he claims he is, then he should understand confirmation bias. He's a doctor, right? I'm just a man. I'm 26 years old. Umar, I'm not sure his exact age, but he's at least in his late 40s, right? 
and he's a psychologist. He understands what's going on. He understands he has confirmation bias. That's the reason why you only see Cassie, because you're only looking for Cassie. That's the reason why you see no evidence, because you're not looking for any evidence. That's the reason why you see no type of... Bro, I can do the same shit. I can keep repeating myself too, bro. You ain't the only one. I don't think any black man needs a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Don't say it again. Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's the ego. There's the ego. Do you understand and overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the premier pan-Africanist on the planet is saying to you right now? Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak-offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing? And he's extremely loud and confident. And if you understand the Dunner-Kruger effect, like I'm sure he does, you understand the more you know, the less you know. The more confident you are, usually the more ignorant you are. The Dunner-Kruger effect. That's a literal term that's a literal like this is a little academic term that people are like constantly using and he should know that if he's the scholar that he claims he is there's no way he doesn't know that he's extremely loud and confident and he knows for a fact he's not picked up a single book he's read nothing man what are you yelling for what are you screaming for about freak offs where are the federal charges and why are the charges being sealed why did the feds seal the charges against sean puffy combs i'm gonna tell you one reason why the feds sealed the charges against sean puffy combs one of the biggest reasons they sealed the charges against sean puffy combs is because the evidence is probably weak the evidence is probably weak. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, and because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, they had to seal the charges. Y'all do understand that the feds have a 98% conviction rate. You do understand the feds have videotapes of everything. I don't think he knows that. You do understand that he willingly surrendered. He knew that we're coming. You do understand the court case is extremely available. Dr. Umar, I can repeat myself too, man. They had to hide the charges from you and I. They had to hide the charges from you and I long enough for the public execution. He said they had to hide the charges. Watch this. Umar, that took 15 seconds, man. Here they go. <laughs> Readily available. Entire Google Drive, homie. You're welcome. Go ahead, educate yourself. Read through it. I know you're a scholar. I know you love to read. You love big words, homie. You'll love this document. Ooh, this is a good read, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure Dr. Umar will be thoroughly entertained. Fucking idiot, bro. You see how quickly that... This is generation, bro. He doesn't understand. It only took me 15 seconds to Google search everything he just said. You actually have to stand on everything you're saying nowadays. We can easily sight check you. Exactly, he probably on them tapes too. You right, Channing? 
Dr. Umar probably on them tapes, man. Umar is terrified, bro. Let's, let's keep it going, though. I've got somebody else saying something similar, I think. We all heard about Puffy. And I see a lot of people. Yay, yay, yay. I'm confused. The Cassie thing, I understand. I think you should definitely lock this nigga up. Put hands on the young lady. But I don't understand the other shit. I tell you, it's the freaky niggas, man. They say the same shit. Boosie said the same shit. With Cassie, he understands. Dr. Umar understands with Cassie. Faze and Love understands with Cassie. Because there's documentation. We can see that. But when it comes to the sexual bullshit, the perversions, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought this was normal. They are also doing that shit. They're doing the same things and they've normalized it so much. They don't realize that they have been consistently, actively committing crimes. But they got away with it so much. So that's the reason why they think they're victims. Because in their mind, everyone else around them is constantly doing these things. I keep telling y'all the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. 20% of the population is committing 80% of the crimes. You are the average of the five people you hang around the most. So they are hanging around each other, all going to the same parties, thinking this is the average, this is normal, this is what we do, this is the culture. Nah. And you realize the rest of us are saying, nah, that shit's weird, bro. It's weird as hell, man. I see you in the chat. I see you, S4C. Can y'all help me? When has being nasty been a federal crime? And I'm I hate how they try to openly simplify that shit. Like, oh, he's just being nasty. He's just being freaky. Nah, nah, we ain't doing that. I keep telling y'all the narcissist prayer. It ain't my fault. If it is my fault, it ain't that bad. If it is that bad, you deserved it. It is his fault. So he's at the point of, well, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. I'm glad they told me. I didn't know there was a limit on baby oil. I, I'm I'm getting a few, you know, because we, we get ashy. But I, you know... You know, you get a massage or something or whatever. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Please tell us the new rules for niggas. Because maybe they, they're not new rules, actually, because I think it was 1800s. There was this very famous boxer named Jack Johnson, and he was whooping ass. Um, everybody ass. Do not try to make this into a race thing, bro. He's not being targeted because he's black and powerful. He's black and powerful, so he does these things because he has the power. He has the money. Nah. Y'all putting the chicken before the egg. He's not a victim of the power. He's using the power to do these crimes. Nah. <laughs> But mostly white folks' ass. He was whooping a lot of white folks' ass. And he had a white woman, Mae West. They couldn't stop this black man. So they gave him trafficking. In the 1800s. Taking a white woman across the lines was... If he didn't do that, he wouldn't have stopped boxing. I thought I told you that. But these motherfuckers think they smart. Ah, <sighs> oh, I hate.
hate this, man. I hate this conversation. I hate having conversations with this caliber of man. No. We won't. Make it make sense. I'm, I, we need to know the new rules. <clears throat> you can't take anybody on vacation. You can't take anybody to Vegas. Um, damn sure don't bring them to Atlanta. Uh, I need y'all to help me because I don't know the new rules. Please tell me what was illegal. Hey, man, watch these dudes. Watch these dudes, man, because the information is easily there. I just showed y'all, what, 30 minutes ago. It took me 15 seconds to go and actually find the court documents. A simple Twitter search, you can read every single page of that 14-page document. Hey, watch these bros, man. These dudes nasty. And y'all know he's on self-deletion watch. And if y'all have uh, been re um, watching Gene Deal, his uh, former bodyguard, bodyguards interviews he's been saying that Dilly has always been a coward this is not the first time he's ever been in this position where he was almost about to take his life because he was down bad and they know the caliber of man he is he's a coward he's gonna snitch absolutely and most likely either they're gonna kill him or he's gonna kill himself because he cannot he, he cannot live in prison forever man he's a coward bro Nah, he needs the attention. He needs spotlight. He needs his drugs. He needs all that. He can't do it. He can't do it. 